Gary, yesterday you were talking about knowledge, understanding, and wisdom as practical steps to getting into the book of Proverbs and how to understand the book. But uh, let's bring it down to somebody's level. I've got a neighbor. He's lost his job. He's having to work long hours. He's a victim of the new economy. And obviously, at some point, he's going to have to make a transition to a new career just to keep his family fed and in the house that they're in. How would someone in that situation apply these principles that you were talking about to come to the right decision in their life, how do they get, get to wisdom? Well, your friend is facing the same problem that all of us face when we have to make a big decision. And that is that the emotions involved. We're facing all these emotions, fear. fear, anxiety, worry, you know, excitement. We have all these different emotions. What we have to do is realize to make wise decisions, we have to sort through the emotions, set them aside, and actually go through a process that leads us to the right decision. That's what this, looking at the book of Proverbs and looking at these three stages is so important. We start with knowledge. Now, in the case of your friend, what he needs to do is begin to gather facts about the job he has, uh, other jobs, um, what he would like to do, maybe take some testing on, on his skill set. What he needs to do is start to gather all this information of what he wants to do, what jobs are available, where he might have to move. He starts gathering all this information. Then once he gathers the information... And, and in the process of doing that, he's probably going to divorce himself from a lot of the emotion that, that he's got. Exactly this. right. But also as he does this, he starts to realize, wait a minute, I can't just go jump and get a job. I can't leave this job to go jump and get a job. I have to hold this one until I can find another job because he doesn't be, want to be without money. See, that's where the emotion drives you to do something that just doesn't work. So, okay, I'm gathering these facts, this knowledge. It takes time. You have to work through this process. Now, once you do that, you have to understand it. Understanding comes from taking and processing that information. What you do when you're going through this understanding stage is you take all this information and you put get pieces of paper, put a line down, down the middle, and this is decision number one, whatever it is. And then you put all the negatives and positives of that decision. Everything you can think of with all the knowledge you've gathered. If you don't have enough knowledge, you go back to that stage. Then you come back to understanding. Now you have one, two, three, four decisions. As you look at through these decisions, one or two of them you might be able to throw out right away because there's so many negatives. Now you narrow this down to your possible decisions, and this is where you go to wisdom. Wisdom and how, and yeah, and how does a person get to wisdom? Okay, when you start with wisdom, you go to Proverbs 9, 10. Wisdom begins with the fear of the Lord. You go to God. God designed life. He knows how this works. You go to Him and you let Him teach you. Now, He's not going to make the decision for you. But what he's going to do is help you go through this process. And the second thing you do is you just have to go through the process. And sometimes you're going to make bad decisions. That's part of life. We all make bad decisions. We can't look on that as failure. What we have to do is look at those bad decisions as learning processes. And so you, we go back through and we go through knowledge, understanding, making proper decisions, making them work. But we always start with God. And the key is coming to godly wisdom as opposed to our wisdom. Yes, that's right. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.